World War III Predictions, Volume 3, America Will Be Invaded. I said that Russia would win in Ukraine and that the most important success of that war for them was to drain our resources, which they did. I told you that South America would turn on the U.S. and start allowing our enemies entry into their ports and start building up resources, soldiers, and more. And remember that I said nine months ago that Israel would become the prime target of the Eastern powers, and that Russia and China would find their path to Israel through their allies in Eastern Europe and the Middle East, which they've done. So what's next on the table? Folks, there was a lot of people who were in absolute denial when I made those first prediction videos, saying that America is so powerful they could never be defeated. They're like one in like 187 or 192 countries, and 80% of the countries absolutely can't stand our guts because we've become a global terror. America is Babylon. We've done absolutely dreadful things. Just in the past, like, 20 years, we've killed millions of innocent civilians for imperialistic and colonialistic goals. Gaddafi in Libya was one of the greatest leaders in modern history. He was a saint to his people, and we slaughtered him in the streets because he was no longer going to purchase oil in U.S. dollars. Amongst other things, like taking care of his own people, making Africa and the Middle East strong. Anyways, you have... We're the baddies. We're the bad guys. And people just aren't getting this. The entire world is surrounding us. We will be invaded, and we will be destroyed. And we need to be. And I'm not rooting for it in some sick, nihilistic way. We are a problem. We hurt millions and millions of people every year with our policies, with our bad economics, with our greed, with our violence, with our fear and paranoia, and we can't be bargained with. When the Soviet Union fell, we made a promise we wouldn't move NATO to the east. That's all we've done since. We break all of our promises. We violate the sovereignty of any country for any reason. I mean, we did it in South America because we wanted their bananas. This isn't a joke. So here's what's going to happen next. What's happening in the Middle East? Yeah. Um, that's going to pick up really quick. And the one country that's at odds with all the other countries, let's just do the math, folks. Once that country falls, I'm not even allowed to say the name of the country because I'll be called an anti-Semite. Like, I could literally say every other country in the world and say if they're going to win or lose a war. But if I say that country loses a war... I'll be called a name and be called a bigot. Anyways, that country is going to fall, okay? Another thing, military bases are being attacked right now. Do you understand what that means? Military bases don't get attacked. We're being surrounded right now. And there's been several attacks inside of the country from our enemies that they've tried to make you think are domestic attacks. They're not going to tell you that we're being invaded. They're not going to tell you that we're being attacked. They're not going to tell you if we're about to be nuked. America doesn't care. It's a psychopathic, rabid animal in the corner that knows it's going to lose, but does not have the decency or humility to surrender and apologize and pay for its crimes in a way where it doesn't have to go down in flames. We are being occupied. We are hostages in this situation. And we better pray that the enemies of our country have more mercy than we've had on the entire world. All right, so like I said, the dominoes are going to topple really fast from this point. Once that country gets taken out, Syria, Iran, Iraq are going to be military bases for Russia and China. Turkey is going to do a full alliance with Russia, China, and all the other countries that support the East. At which point, Europe will be given an ultimatum stand down or be obliterated. And then there's going to be some very interesting things that happen with Switzerland. Mark my words. Because Switzerland is the seat of the devil. Because Switzerland is the seat of power for the West. But they can't get to Switzerland until they get through a couple of their bodyguards in the Middle East and Eastern Europe. Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, Australia... Unfortunately, because there's a giant ocean between you and us, and we're the reason that you guys get things like free health care, you're going to be absorbed. We can't get to you fast enough. We're going to be fighting a war on the southern border. 
We're going to be scrambling all of our nuclear readiness aircraft and submarines to protect ourselves from the Poseidon missile that can create a tsunami on the East Coast. We're going to be fully staffed in Cheyenne Mountain, making sure an ICBM does not hit Yellowstone and activate the supervolcano. This war can go one of four ways, okay? One is that all this is just a theater thing. And Revelations is really the thing they're trying to pull off. Like, so it'll get really crazy over in the Middle East and all of a sudden the Antichrist will show up and they'll sign a great peace deal and it'll be beautiful. And then you know we're just in a game and just does, nothing matters because they're going to play this stupid game. In the real world, in the realist perspective, America will be invaded. You might say it's going to take 10 years. You might say it's going to take five years. But pr I promise you it can happen in two years. Now, in that scenario, America can either fight to the death or surrender and, and hold the right people accountable, right? Like the people who vouched for Gaddafi's murder, uh, the people that vouched for Assad's um, assassination attempt, these types of people. Put those people out there and hold them responsible so the arrest of the innocent Americans who, especially the ones that were trying to speak up about this, they can be spared. We can be given mercy. We had no control over the situation, and we did what we could to try to speak out about it and stop it. And another scenario is the people rise up, organized, and demand peace because no one fights, no one hits the red buttons, no one pulls the trigger because we're done with this shit, because we know Atlantis can exist, and we're ready to have it.